Uh, but our uh... main news today, and have a guess, it's all over the papers again, of course, but now it's been revealed that the secret lover of Philip Schofield was just 15 years old when they met at a theatre school where the ITV presenter was giving a talk. Right. Meanwhile, Holly Willoughby has said that the admission from Philip Schofield of the relationship was very hurtful. On top of all of this, <laughs> an insider is also suggesting in some of the papers this morning that this morning itself could be axed. Right. Uh, well, joining us to unpick all of this, and there's a lot of it, is editor at large of Mail on Sunday. One of the papers has got it huge on page one today. Uh, Charlotte Griffiths. Good morning, Charlotte. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Uh, Charlotte, I mean, the, the latest development, the front page of your paper today, Schofield Love was just 15 when they met. Um, uh, tell us more. What, what, what's the background to this? Gosh, well, we now know why when Phil issued his statement a few days ago, he said this relationship was ill-advised, but not illegal. And for many of us, well, actually not me because I work in journalism, but for many people, it seemed like a bit of an odd statement. But now what we, he knew what, you know, what we know and has now been revealed, which is that they met when they were 15. And what happened was a, a mutual uh, friend of him and his wife um, encouraged him to go to a school in the Northwest, which I won't say what its name is, um, and meet some students, which he did. And one of the students stayed in touch over a number of years and nothing untoward happened. But when he was old enough, he came in and did some work experience on ITV. And it's then that their relationship appeared to have grown with Phil in a sort of mentor role. And Phil has always maintained it was a mentor role, but now it seems that in fact, a relationship eventually grew out of that mentorship. And, and look, I mean, age is important in all of this. Do we know when that relationship, the sexual relationship started? Was he still a teenager? Well, Phil's saying it wasn't illegal, so we have to guess that he was in his less late teens when it developed. Well, I mean, could, actually, looking back at it, it could be anything over 16, couldn't it? That yes. for it to be legal? Nothing like that has been confirmed yet, so it's kind of der a dangerous territory. But, you know, it's, it's unusual that they had this friendship, for sure. And, and Charlotte, are you surprised at how quickly the relationship between Holly and Phil has just disintegrated. I mean, you know, they, they went on holiday together, they described one another as, you know, the rocks, uh, you know, in each other's lives. I mean, and yet now, if they, I think they, they wouldn't say hello if they, if they walked past each other on the street. Yes, well, you know, Holly saying, she said last night she was very hurt because she approached Phil about these... these um, allegations and he just denied them completely and what happened was eventually the man the young man in question told lawyers that phil had hired so phil hired this lawyer company called mishkondariah and and expected the boy not to say anything or the man he's a man now not to say anything and and he actually did confess everything and so Holly has now said, look, I was lied to. I asked Phil about this and he lied to me. And this comes off the back of reports that Phil didn't say that his brother was um, facing allegations of child abuse and, and, and didn't warn Holly before all that came out a couple of weeks ago. So it has been disastrous for their relationship because their trust, the trust between them is totally broken. Once the trust is gone, their rapport has gone and the show disintegrates. Yeah, but what about trust with, with the viewer, uh, the great British viewer in all of this? Because Holly's saying, she, you know, she asked but was told no. Anyone vaguely in the business or anyone who decides to go on social media will have known mm. about certainly very strong allegations about this relationship with accompanying pictures and videos and all the rest of it that have been online for more than three years. Yeah, there have been photos and there are photos of Holly with the young man. Um, he accosted her or had a sort of uh, an altercation of some kind, according to some pictures. There were some pictures in 2020 that showed a sort of fraught conversation between Holly and the young man. So you've got to you've got to wonder whether she did think, gosh, this mentorship, this friendship is extremely close and whether she asked him before. But according to her statement last night, she asked him once the allegations were reported. Yeah, which is only a couple of days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, so so you're right. You know, it's you'd think she might have asked him in the last few years because there is a picture of um, Phil visiting the school that has been online, um, and they're nowhere near each other in that photo, by the way. But it has been online for a couple of years, and there's a picture of Holly and Phil and the young man um, in the studio in the this morning 
studio, which is online as well. But I think we've got to be very careful not to identify him because it sounds like, he, you know, and Dan Witten has said this, that he's, um, you know, his mental health was affected by this uh, mentorship and friendship, which developed into a relationship. Charlotte, one area I, I, a lot of people are confused about, there's a lot of talk about sort of like an injunction being taken out to keep the young man in question quiet, to buy his silence. I mean, can you just clarify whether there is an injunction or is that just part of all the speculation that, as we've alluded to, is online? I'm not aware of any injunction. Phil said there wasn't an injunction. And indeed, the young man did speak to Mishcon and, and, and tell them that, that he's, he's sick of lying, he said, was, um, was what he told the lawyers. Um, and of course, now Phil's admitted to it all. So do you think, just quickly, no, no. sorry. No, no. So do you think that the young man in question potentially could come forward and tell his side of the story? I think he could do. And I think Phil is well aware of that. And that's why he's been trying to get ahead of it. Um, although I think, you know, he'd say he's trying to do right by the young man and protect his um, privacy. But I, I think the young man could at any, any moment come forward. I mean, the problem with all of this, and it's, it's, it's looking at branding, not only for Mr Schofield, but also for This Morning as a show, mm. for ITV as a channel, is... If any, I mean, are they living in dread as to whether any more comes out? I mean, yes, a, a statement from the from the young man involved could be damaging, but it's whether there's any more. That's what the fear is. Yeah, there could be more. I think I think it, it's going to be a real turning point for this morning and the next few days. There's talks that they might rebrand, um, but it, it'll be hard to see how they can continue going on every morning, launching the show, going on air, wondering while we're on air, will something come out? Will there be another statement? Will something go on Twitter? Will the man reveal something on social media? It's going to be a really difficult time. And yeah, as you say, it's a, it's a clean, morning, happy, upbeat show. And they don't want to be tainted by this worry for weeks and weeks to come. So they might need to do some serious strategic planning to see how they're going to progress. Wow. Oh, you know, it's extremely the, difficult. It is, and you, and I'm watching it. I never used to watch it, so I don't ever, I'm watching it and and I'm analysing why people are saying what they're saying and what they're thinking and and trying mm. to work out how awful it must be to sit there on that sofa, mm. be happy and smiley. Oh, it's extraordinary. Yeah, I tell you what, we've been talking about this morning is the fact you know, uh, Katie Hind. Uh, a colleague of yours, obviously, who, who got this statement mm. from Philip Schofield. The fact that he has been in touch and not only admitted yeah. what he did, but um, ap apologised for lying to people and apologised to the mail for lying to mm. the mail because they, they, he tried to block a story and what have you, hadn't he? Um, mm. That in itself seems unprecedented. Mm. It's so unprecedented. And he wrote to Katie Hind and said, I don't expect any mercy, which is extraordinary and and it's because actually Katie had been very brave and and done a story a couple of weeks ago that sort of went quite far to hint at this friendship and he sent a complaint to the to the to Ipso and said you know the mail has you know got this got this wrong and of course we hadn't and so he was he was right to apologize but it's not very often in showbiz that people do do a full mea culpa like that and I've, say I've don't heard. show me any mercy Never heard of it. Uh, Charlotte, so yeah. uh, are we expecting more to come next week? More relevant. There's always more scoops at the Mail on the Mail on Sunday. But, you know, I, I do think, I think there's a little bit more to go. I think there might be some more stories around Holly. I think she'll have her, her side to tell soon. You know, that, that Instagram post she put up last night, it, it does sort of beg a few more questions. There are a few more questions that, that people are going to want to ask her if she's going to be able to continue taking that seat on this morning. She might need to answer a couple of them first. That's my opinion. Yeah, wow. Actually, on, on that issue, that's going to be very difficult isn't it? For, although we, you know, a week ago we were thinking, well, she'll carry on, she'll have a new co-host mm -hmm. and all the rest of it. Whether she likes it or not, she's been tainted by this, hasn't she? Yeah, I think whether she likes it or not is a good way of putting it because, you know, she, she's tried very hard to distance herself and, you know, she didn't do this, she didn't have this relationship. You know, at the moment we we're being told she was lied to and she has had no idea all along. And she's much loved member of this morning and has some very lucrative deals that she'll be wanting to protect. It's very tricky. I, I sort of think they will try to keep her going and, and keep her on the sofa with a new presenter. Um, but she might need to, she might need to answer a couple of questions. I'll put it that way. Okay. Charlotte, uh, really good to see you this morning. Thank, thank you. you very much indeed.